What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and we're gonna get a little bit of time here at night at the bloody monastery. So I got on and then I got interrupted before I could get started. So I lost a little bit of time at night, but we're over here at the bloody monastery. I did pick up boots plus five and gloves plus one. That's all I could afford with the money that we had, but I did go ahead and pick those up. So I'm happy about that. But now it is time to embark on the Bloody Monastery. So this should be fun. Should be good enough. I think we we uh, we do one-shot these guys with our weapon, which is good. This isn't the main place you want to farm, but I'm going to kill along the way. Okay. Chill. We want to get up to the main area. This is kind of just whatever area. I mean, there's obviously guys here, but there's not as many guys as you would want. Look at these guys out. We'll get this free experience for all the guys chasing us. We want to get up to the actual monastery. That's where, that's where the real farm is. Okay, we got a, we got a little bit of lag. Hello, you're free. Alright, come and get it, boys. Alright, let's keep going. Should probably look at advancing skills, but... What? That didn't cut him open? What is that? down. I did kill a few of these when I came here because I actually overran where I wanted to go and then I aggroed a bunch. So that's why I do have some of those items in my inventory already. I ended up farming for about a couple minutes because I was testing one thing and then I mean there's just so many of them here. Try to attract as many as I can. We'll just start it. Let's, let's roll. About to be 26 already. I mean, this place is just so good for farming. They aggro quick. There's 26. I can't hit this dude. I don't remember how slow the respawn timer is on him. That's the one thing I don't know. I'm real. I'm happy to farm this because I ha I haven't farmed it much. Because I just haven't come here at the appropriate level. And so that's resulted in me not farming it. So I can get these guys ranked up on knowledge. And get my knowledge of them ranked up. Wait, that didn't, that didn't one-shot you? What? And one shot in people, and that dude just doesn't get one shot. Clear them all. Clear them out. There we go. Back up top here. Let's see. I don't think they've quite respawned yet. Should probably get the time. I should probably time it, but that's a little. I don't know if I quite want to be timing stuff. I don't think we need to get that to picky. I don't think I've ever come back here. I didn't even know this existed. What is this? Is this like... Is this like a potential spot that could add like a... Expansion or something? Like, what is that? I kind of want to know what that's for if anybody knows what that's for let me know because that's interesting to say the least so we're here to level 29 okay they respawned the cool thing is is that there's no one here do i have exp scrolls i do not i 
I'm gonna have to remember to do all of those emissary seals one of these days. I gotta look and see when that um, event ends because I'm sure once the event ends, I'm not gonna get a chance to to cash them in. I'm not gonna be able to cash them in after the event's over. So we're level 27 already. Let me see what my pets are looking like for food. Okay, they're good. I couldn't remember if I fed them. I try to feed my pets and feed my workers every night before I get off. Or whenever I get off. I don't know if I get off during the day. Whatever. When I get off. That's probably the more appropriate term. Whenever I get off, I try to feed my pets and feed my workers. But sometimes I forget. Where did these guys come from, Wolf? What? <laughs> They're coming out of like a Teamster clown car. What was that? I got I got to get better at the combos. Pretty much just We're back to right bumpering, which is not what I want to do. I need to get better at I Need to get better at doing combos. Oh my gosh, they're they're pretty much already respawned, so... What? That didn't hit that dude? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, we're gonna kill these dudes. This is, this is my PV, PVE attack. That's the attack I need to be doing, that left trigger, right bumper. I think, I think that's the best, that's the best option. Here. Oh, we're about to be 28 already. We're definitely going to a second area in this episode. This place is so good. Like, it's it's one of the... They respawn so quick. That's the... The density is decently high, but the main thing about this area is just that they respawn so freaking fast. It's kind of crazy how fast they respawn, and they aggro so quickly. I'm just going to run this little circle here, aggro everybody up. Alright. Nope, oh, clear them out. Hurry up, pets, pick it up. Oh, big dude hasn't respawned yet. Pop a heal real quick. And, like, I'm appropriately leveled for this, so, like, I'm not taking, like, any damage when they hit me. Or not appropriate level, appropriately geared. I mean... Yeah, I wish I took a little bit less damage from them, but... Not a whole lot less. Let's dip in here. I love the movement. I, I, I'm i not very good at the accuracy of the movement on this character, but I do like the movement on the character. Guess I'll let you out too. Here, get, get, okay, get out. <laughs> What's happening? All right, let's go up top and then we'll jump back down and we'll repeat it again. So we're 28, we're almost 20, or not almost 29. We're just 28. So maybe two more revelations around this thing. There we go. Destroy that. I mean, obviously this is a little skewed because it's at night. We're getting a little bit more experience than normal. But still, you get the point that this is a fast area. One thing I do want to do is I want to gear up a character, like, like take all of my sorceress gear and put it on a character and just see how fast we can hit max level. Because... 
obviously there's a difference between doing it this way where I'm just using the money that I get on this character and using like millions of uh, silver to upgrade a character to max which is something I do want to try it and I will I will eventually here it'll probably be a sorceress just because I have all the gear for the sorceress and I'll probably be buying way better gear for the sorceress eventually once I finish up all these playthroughs is probably when I will start really focusing on getting the gear for my sorceress way up. Hello, everybody. Can we all just kite in a nice little circle here? Thank you. Oh, big boy respawned. Come here. All right. Yep. Halfway to 28. Oh boy, I got the cultist flag to A knowledge. That. All right, 40 more percent to go. Then we can move on. Actually, probably need to reload my notes. I should just copy them onto my phone, but I have them on a document on my phone, which means I have to load them on the internet. And for some reason, it doesn't want to load it fast. Oh, we're going to finish this just in time, because now there's another dude here. I think you could technically spawn, or spawn, you can technically farm this for, um, to like 30... 30 like two um but i i wanna i wanna move on ninety two percent there just follow me in here just follow me in here. We'll kite everybody up in here. Hello, everyone. Come on, kite around here. Oh, this is, am I not going to get the... Oh, we're, oh, there it is. There it is. There's the level 29. Slice you out. Guess we'll slice them out while I'm in here. All right. So I will farm this a little bit while the uh, web page loads. I forgot to load. I actually didn't think it would go this quick. So there's that. Okay, so... Yeah, to 29 or 30 is the Bloody Monastery. I can see a little bit of the page before it forces reload. Okay, so next we have the Karudo Caves. That's right. That's what's next. Technically, these are 30 to 35, so I'm going to level just a wee little bit here. Before we go, I'm going to get, like, partially to 30. I don't think we have to be 30, but... I just want to get close. If there's a town on the way to Karudo Caves, I'm going to stop there and buy better gear. Hello, everybody. Let's, let's kite up. Kite up. experience is so crazy when you just tie them up like that. What time are we in the episode? 14 minutes. I might just farm here for a few more minutes and call it an episode, and then we'll start the next one at Karudo Cave. I think that's probably the best bet. Then we don't have to run over there in this episode. Come on, everybody. They were oh, that guy started killing. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go in here. Come on, everybody. Kite it up for me. What's it doing? What am I seeing enemy-wise? Is that on the other side? Of Hold on. Is this on the other side of the walls? There's like a million guys over here. Um, no. 
I'm seeing like this stuff. Slice and dice them up. Hey, hey, everybody, hey, come back here. Clean these guys up. All right. That guy just like, did he just kill him like once and then dip? Where'd he go? That's really weird. He just like, oh, there he is. I was like, he did not just like come here, kill him once and then dip out. Cannot be real. I don't actually, I'm not like uh, a person that actually, ca okay, can I please hit this dude? Um, I'm not a person that actually cares if someone's in my farming spot like this. Like, you know, at the high level PvP uh, in the PvE areas, people will PvP you if you come to their farming spot and start killing stuff because, like, I get it. They're getting less drops and they're getting less experience and less kills and all of that different stuff. But, I don't know. I don't really care. I mean, I understand it's an MMORPG. There's there's other people here. It's not just me in the world. I, I, don't, I don't know. That's just how I view it. Okay, you can have that. I'm leaving. I can't really help if they follow me out. I'm gonna kill them if they follow me out. Should probably have killed them a little bit faster, buddy. Alright. Place them up. Yeah, let's just get to 30 and then we'll call it an episode here. And uh, someone asked, this character will be going all the way to level 30, or er, level 30, level 55, because that's where the, I might do it to 56, I'm not quite sure yet. It's going to go to at least 55, because that's where I get um, the event unlocks. That's where they want your characters to get for this event. So I'm definitely at least getting there. Anything past that's kind of in question, but I might get to 56. 56 is kind of the barometer level. I don't know, that's how I feel. It's kind of the barometer level. There's level 30. I know you can farm, because, like, we're at 0.25. They still give half a percent experience, which means you only got to kill 200 of these to complete it, or to get to 31. It's a little bit slower than, like, full percent and some that they were giving when we started this, but it's still not terrible. It's not good, but it's not it's not the worst thing ever. Obviously there could be more experience, but and that's why we're gonna head to Karuto Cave in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a good place to call it an episode. These episodes are always going to be just a little bit shorter because once we reach the goal, I mean, there's not really a point in continuing if we completed the goal for the episode. I don't want to get started in a new area and then be like, well, okay, well, we farmed here for two minutes. Let's, let's call it an episode, which is what would happen here. But yeah, we'll farm this just a couple more times and then we'll, we'll call it a day. We'll call it a day on the Musa. That guy really did dip. He, like, cleaned, like, nothing of this out. And then... He must have been, like, really close or something. I, I don't know. We gotta take a look at what loot we got. I don't know if we got anything. I don't think we got anything good. We might have gotten, like, one Blackstone or something. I'm never paying too heavily about my loot, so if I ever pick up anything that's crazy, I'm never going to react because I'm not, like, staring up at the top of my screen. Like, when we go to Hexay Sanctuary, if I pick up Witch's Earrings, I'm never going to notice. Well, there's, like, a small chance I'll notice, but odds are that I won't notice. Just because I'm not... I don't know. I just don't pay attention enough to what my... There's a Blackstone armor. Speaking speaking of me not paying attention, I didn't notice that one. I noticed the event emissary seals because they're a really distinct color down there in the bottom part of my screen. 
So I do always notice them, but a lot of the drops I never even notice because they're just not. They pop up at the top of the screen, and I've gotten really used to ignoring those because of the market updates that they give. So I've got pretty good at just blocking those out. Hey, where where is he going? My dude is... Dude is headed to another continent. I might as well get to 31. Okay, we're gonna get to 31, and that'll be the episode, because, you know, we're halfway there anyway. This place is just so good. It's just so good. I don't like Karudo Cave as much. There's a little bit higher mob density, like, together. But I just don't like it as much as this. So I'm fine to farm this a little bit past where I wanted to, which was 29. I need to figure out better combos. My combos for this character are kind of dookie. I just do the same thing. It's just LT, RB together. And it's RB. It's like all I do on this character. Hello, everybody. wonder if that dude did, like, my strategy. Usually when someone shows up where I'm farming, I just leave. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. I was here first, but I, I already farmed here for a little bit. Why don't you take your turn farming it? Kind of how I always do it, but... Just gonna try to kite these guys in this room. Hello, everybody. Why aren't you guys... You guys just not gonna aggro? Hello? Slice them up. Get us to 70% of the way there. Beefy boy decided to spawn right when I was walking out. That worked out well. I'll kill you guys, whatever. Probably not the most efficient thing to kill those idiots, but I do. Come here. Come here, everybody. Wow, that whiffed like none other. Alright. Slice that guy up. That guy. 81% now. Let's kite a little bit. Try to get these guys. And we'll come over right here. Let me split. Come on. Oh, they're so slow. Come here. What are you doing? I'll just let that guy follow me. Turn around and get him now. <laughs> I was gonna, like, turn and hit him, but I was like, eh. It's probably just quicker to kill all the guys in front of me. Alright, weave. Do the weave through here. Go. Got a decent amount of old hoods, so we should have a little bit of money. I'll do that in between episodes and then let you know what I bought. We're at 97. About to be... About to be there. Just a couple more kills. Kill them. Kill him. So close! 98.8. I didn't even kill that shaman. I hit him once and thought he died. Alright, well, here's 31. There we go. Slice you up. Cut that open. And that's going to do it. I think that's a good place to call it an episode. We farmed here a little bit longer than I thought. We did six levels. You can see now. Actually, the big guys are still 1%. What are the small guys? If it was only the big guys, the small guy. Wow, I'm happy I killed that guy. I guess Blackstone Armor. Um, the small guys still give a half a percent. So you could still farm here, theoretically. It would it'd take you about... I mean, the big guys are like one for every 10 or something like that, so it'd probably take you like 140 kills or 150 kills to level up, but that's not too terribly awful. I have to get like all the way out of here, because they like aggro for like a while, and there's a lot of them for a while, but yeah, it would take you a little bit of time to get to level 32, but it wouldn't be too awful. It wouldn't be good, but it wouldn't be terrible. Are they still following me? No. Okay, we're good. 
So, in the next episode, we're going to be going over here to Karudo Cave. Let's see. It's right here. That's where we're going to be going next, is to Karudo Cave. You guys saw that on the Dark Knight playthrough, I think, already, but that's where we're going to do go. I'm going to take a pit stop in Hydel, probably, or actually in Calpheon. I'm going to go Calpheon and then head up there. We'll sell what we got, so we can take a look at what we got. So, we got two Blackstone Armors. I believe that's about 550,000. These don't really matter. 116. So we have about 1 mil. I mean, just roughly. Roughly 1 million silver um, to upgrade. I might try to upgrade my helmet or my black horn bow. Um, that's probably where I'll, what I'll try to upgrade next. But uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.